learning isn't, I don't think, what we think it is. Learning isn't necessarily built on strong foundations. It's built, unfortunately, on foundations of sand. And I'm hoping that we're here today to maybe have a think about how we could do it differently. And there's reasons for this, partly because people want to learn always and at all times now. Learning isn't a nine to five job anymore. And if you're in a learning function that opens at nine and closes at five, you will be bypassed. People don't want to learn at the time you think. Our role now is more about, about finding and helping people understand how to find solutions. People don't know, come to you and go, I want to learn. They come to you and say, I want to. And our job has to be about helping them understand how they can do what they need to do. That means understanding how new things are. In the past, I used to put a record on, and then it was a tape, and then it was a CD, and then it was a mini disc, and then it was streamed. It's all listening to music the same way. Learning arguably is the same way as well. What are the channels that are new? Sometimes we need to think about our budgets though, the sound underneath it. I work in local government, we have no money. Hello. <laughs> so we have to balance our budget and understand where we're spending it. That means sometimes we do have to spend on formal events, but sometimes we need to just recognise that we do need to do things a bit differently. We need to think about mixing things up a bit. We need to understand the difference between L&D and organisational development and the business practice and recognising which are the right solutions at the right time. When was the last time we stood and looked in a mirror as L&D and said, what are we as a function? Not navel gazing, but actually looked and said, what is our purpose, what are our methods, and what are our metrics? We're great on methods, we crap on metrics, and even worse on purpose. Because our purpose is learning. They say a leopard can't change its spots. That's a lie. Leopards can change their spots based on their environment. Learning and development can't change its spots because we've got too many legends that we still hold on to. Just evaluation. Level four. Really? Really? <laughs> learning styles? Really? These are legends that we've got. And what we don't do is necessarily understand the patterns of our behaviour. Our patterns of behaviour need to be changed. We're doing the same things we've always done. We do things the same way. Do we recognise our pattern of behaviour and think about how we can do it differently? I don't think we do. The reason being is because others can't see what we do. People look at your learning function and go, they're the people I go to for health and safety course. They're the people I go to to help us with compliance. They don't come to you and go, you're the people who can help me solve my business problem. So we need to think about doing it differently. Other people have spoken about how we can do such stuff differently. Finding the connections. If you're not on social media, there is a ton of learning and development activity bypassing you. You are not involved in conversations that are affecting our profession. Where? Here. There's dozens of people here, in this room, this section here, but also across this whole place who can help you start to think about doing things a bit differently. Go to the providers and say, this is what I want, and see if they can deliver that to you. What we need to do is we need to start looking at the relationships that we've got with our business, we need to pull our hands down from our eyes and stop thinking we are a learning function and think of ourselves as a business function. Think about the relationship that we need to build with our business. We need to look beyond what we think is the right solution. We need to think strategically. We need to act tactically. And we need to deliver operationally. And at the moment, we're not doing any of those. We're acting strategically and assuming that everything will happen. We need to go beyond stock photos. We need to go beyond the obvious response, which is someone says, I want a course, and we go, absolutely. How many of those would you like? We need to do things a bit differently. We need to think about, I've got ahead of myself, stepping back. We need to think about our first step should not be into the fire. Our first step should be to step back and appreciate the whole of what's going on in our business and then coming up with the appropriate solution. If we do that, we will be appreciated more. We will be appreciated more by our business, we will be appreciated more by the people we help and support, and we will be appreciated more by our peers within the learning and development industry. Because this stuff matters. This stuff matters a lot. 
this stuff matters an awful lot. We now work, sorry, I said this was random. This wasn't random. This whole presentation, has anybody stood back? Has anybody watched and seen what I've been talking about? I'll give you the last few seconds. 